Hi Virgos, welcome and welcome back to Preferred Tarot. Well, I love to see that you prefer me. We're about to get into this reading and see what's going on with you all. Remember that the readings are in general. All of the messages will not resonate with everyone. If you all would like to get a personal reading with me, all of my information is down below. Let's get into this. So happy birthday Virgos, first and foremost. But I'm hearing something about a secret meeting. You could be invited to this secret meeting or you uh, could be the one that's left out. You may know nothing about this meeting, but I'm hearing something about a secret meeting. Or well, a secret meeting could be going on around this time during you all season i don't know what that's about but we're going to keep it moving most important messages for the sign of virgo we have power coming out and then we have flow all right um the reason why i'm smiling and laughing is because i know sometimes those messages that be coming to me <laughs> are messages that i will say the quote-unquote powers that be don't want to uh, want me to say or don't want to be known or something like that because i'm pretty sure if it's a secret meeting they don't want it to be known right that is going on but we're just gonna keep moving power coming out and then we have flow at the bottom of the deck so going with the flow patience taking your time um adjusting type of energy and i um also it's like getting this message of um becoming resilient yes becoming resilient and uh, realizing the power within you or power coming out of the situation that you may be going through that you may feel like it's tough or rough okay so you could be going through a storm right now but there's power coming from this storm so um, power and strength is being made throughout this so five of pentacles is at the bottom of the deck right now so it could be a lack of care of energy feeling like you're missing out on something uh right that's super meeting but ten of cups i just seen it a gathering maybe it's time for you to pull away from the people who used to gather um with but most important messages for virgo we have the lovers card coming out and we have the high priestess yeah this is about choices and decisions and you following your intuitions about it intuition about doing so all right using your discernment about the people that you hang around with, that you're getting in a relationship with, Knight of Swords and the Three of Swords energy with the Six of Wands. So these people that you kick it with, hang with, surround yourself by, right? These people brought some type of excitement. They made you feel good. But at the same time, you feel like there's some sneaky behavior going on. You, you feel like someone is not being um, truthful or honest. Um, you feel like... Something that you say, what this person was says to you is hurtful, or you feel like, hmm, here we go. So it's some truth tellers right here with the Virgos, right? So some of you all are willing to tell the truth and be um, honest about what's going on. So you probably see the uh, see things from a different perspective. But once you bring it up, you feel like if you bring it up, because some of you all been silent about this, yeah, you feel like if you bring it up, that will cause a commotion or hurt someone else's feelings, all right, or cause an argument to either even hurt yours. So this is about hmm, having the power, regardless of what they say, knowing that you have the power within you to make the best choices and decisions for yourself, regardless how they feel. OK, so um, and if they can't, it's like if you can't get with the flow of things, maybe you need to move around because maybe these energies may be throwing you off your path. Eight of Swords, Seven Poles of Prison, make you feel stuck. Can I get more messages for the sign of Virgo? So we have the Knight of Pentacles. Someone doesn't like this message. It's okay. It is what it is. There you are, though. Slow motion, but for show motion. Taking your time here. Becoming resilient and um, uh, regaining your power in the situation. We have the Tower card. So I felt that you all may be going through some type of struggle, strife, storm, whatever. Five of Wands energy, you fighting. Feeling like you're having a fight to get through or you're dealing with a whole lot of haters and naysayers. Temperance card, patience. We just seen flow or patience underneath flow. With the temperance card, justice. Love it. And then we go to the full card. So look, being patient about or while things becoming balanced. Being patient while doing the right things for yourself. Things becoming, um, things getting into order, whether you see it or not. For you to go towards a brand new beginning. This is it for you to ins be inspired to release yourself from a self-imposed imprisonment that you've been, been in because of like friends or family members. It's like I'm hearing like it could be like a, um, a, a cult mentality. So everybody's just doing the same ish. 
even though it's may it may be wrong as heck so can i get nine of swords worry down anxiety more more messages virgo clear my energy they just coming out the messages just coming right so we have the eight of cups walking away from people place things that do not serve you the nine of swords is at the bottom of the deck which is worry doubt and anxiety you see it right there and then that knights of swords with that three of swords energy so once again i already said it some of you are not speaking up you're not speaking up for yourself or others around you but you know that maybe it may be time or it may be best for you to do so but you really don't want to uh you don't you, you don't want to shake things up you don't want to shake things up so you would rather like uh, uh walk away or let me get more messages what's the lover's card Clever, give me a second i'm back virgo it's my bad so the eight of cups ca came out I can't really, I can't quite remember what the heck I was just talking about, but I had to go, um, I had to walk away for a, for a second, but taking your time to walk away or gathering resources in, in order to remove yourself from a situation where you felt trapped. Let's get more messages. What's the lovers card? Can't stand distractions, but whatever. We have the full card, taking a leap of faith, the new beginnings, and then here we go again, not speaking up or afraid that you might um, create some type of shift or shake things up with you being truthful and honest. Some of you all maybe want a new or some of you all want a new beginning or want a relationship with either a Gemini or an Aries. Maybe, maybe not. But let's move on to the high priestess. What's the high priestess energy here for the sign of Virgo? The page of cups. So it looks like someone wants to apologize or someone wants to, someone wants something new. But not quite speaking up about it. Also, it's a situation where a person is coming in or there's an apology or someone new or something new is coming in into your life. And it's about you following your intuition, once again, about a gift that's being offered to you. Something to bring in, bring in some type of healing, rest and rejuvenation for you to do things differently after this tower moment that may have already happened or about to happen. What's the Knight of Pentacles? Six of Cups. What? past these cards back at the bottom of the deck okay so i'm being guided to look at look further into this so what i see is something about somebody's finances someone thinking about the long-term goals but something not working out it's not all lost forever it's power you it, it, you're if there's a um a newfound power that's coming out of this but it's about you making the right choices and decisions. I have a question. Do you feel like the people that um that are around, that are around you do do you feel like they support you? Are they like offering help? I also see that someone may someone may be looking for some type of help, not saying nothing anything about it as well, but six of cups to this knight of pentacles energy. It's something the way you used to do things in the past. This could also be the people that's um, that that you used, that you that you grew up with, the siblings, anyone, friends, or whatever. These people that you may be yeah slowing down that relationship with, or you are um, becoming more cautious. So it's, I'm hearing like yeah, be cautious. You're cautious about who you hang around or who you who you surround yourself with. Because the people that you want, you felt like they, they, they were for you. It seemed like you're not feeling that way anymore. Not quite. They're they're being against you, but you all are no longer um, on the same page. What's the eight of cups, the four of swords, and then we have the two of wands. So healing. I told you this this tower pump this tower moment is um, helping you become more powerful in some sort of way. But it's pushing you to remove yourself, heal and remove yourself from a situation and to do it in a different way. Whatever that means for you, heal, remove yourself from a different, heal, do something differently, remove yourself from a situation. Okay? Because whatever it was in the past, just not cutting it anymore. That's what I'm kind of getting. What's the full card? The way you used to do things in the past, the people you hung around with, right? 
the four of wands in reverse, something is falling apart. We already seen that though with the tower card. We have the nine of cups and then we have, so here we are. Someone feels like they they failed in a relationship, failed when it came down to making a choice. You feel like you make Fail decisions or something like that. We got the Ten of Cups to the Five of Cups. So I'm like you messed up when it comes down to either creating something long term, having longevity um, with finances or something like that. Or I mean, creating some type of um, financial financial stability. There you are, the Ace of Cups. This is about loving yourself first and defeating this um, demonic energy. So I'm getting something about it's a material wealth thing. And there's nothing wrong with having material wealth, but I'm get it's something about the connection to and the willingness to do do for. Like every option is meant to be explored type of energy. All right, four of wands energy in reverse, knight of cups, a page of in a page of swords. Someone wants to be like flirty or something like that. It looks like there we go. So this is apology. Someone wants. Okay, this could be a person who's trying to reconcile a situation from the past. Something that end up flipping upside down, going to ride, however it is. The, the, the relationship was off, killed her some way. Someone may, wants to, uh, may want to apologize for her, but it's like a person is watching from the distance, not saying much, distance, not saying much about it at all. What's the four of wands in reverse? Yeah, someone's trying to figure out how to get back to success. The strength card. Pow, pow, strength, confidence. Power, strength, confidence. The strength card, Leo energy, the high friend at the bottom of the deck with that. These people you felt like you were competing against or they were competing against you or something like that, that energy is a finish, is about to shift. That energy, I'm hearing something about cooperate. I don't know what that's alluding to. Can I get more on the strength card? Someone may be trying to have a strength to keep something together that's falling apart or trying to fix something again. The Knight of Swords. Communication. Having the strength to communicate. Maybe what person went wrong. The Knight, the, the Star card. Renew hope and faith. Aquarius, Leo, the opposite signs right here. And then we have the Four of Cups energy underneath there. Someone... May have been rejecting their own happiness, blissful energy. And there was it could have been a lack of confidence as well in order to push forward with some type of creative idea. Okay, we got a, we have all different type of messages. That's why I tell you all if you want a personal reading, personal messages, come holler at me. I got you, no problem. But hey, can I get some advice for the um Virgos? I ain't gonna rack my brain. I'm trying to figure out everybody's situation. <laughs> in one setting right here. What's the we have the higher friend coming out as the advice and the three of swords in reverse. Higher friend upright, three of swords reverse, ten of cups, bottom of the deck with the seven of cups. You're unsure about how you feel about these people that you are you once connected with. Maybe still connect connected to these people at the moment, but you have you're unsure about the about them. There's some uncertainty about the communication, about you speaking your truth to these people. You observing some things right now. That you you see things completely differently here. The higher finance is, is a connection to source. It is towards energy. The three of swords. Um, I feel like you're being guided to deal with some type of pain that you that you haven't been wanting to address. Can I get more on the higher fence? Chariot card moving forward, pushing forward, taking control of your life. The ten of pentacles and the five of okay, maybe you messed up in the past when it came down to uh, some type of financial decision. But this is about spirit source universe telling you so you can address that, you can fix that, you can gain control. It's about healing, doing something differently here instead of focusing so much on that hurt and, and pain. This is also coming out of that energy as well, I feel, and recognizing like, um, okay, yeah, the ace of swords, having a better understanding, clarity, financial literacy as you move forward. If it has anything to do with the finances or have, if it has something to do with the relationship, this is about, okay, well, I can't, I understand where I went wrong. I understand where, where things went wrong. Is it possible for us to fix it? If not, it's about you continuing to control your life, be in control of your life and you pushing forward. Be accountable. Kind of get more on the three of swords in reverse. The four of pentacles. Someone has been holding on too tightly to something that has been hurting you. And this is, this is about releasing it, dropping it, leaving those burdens to spirit towards universe, however you see it, God is. So we have the judgment card. 
This is about you making some type of choice or decisions to fight for what it is that you want. And if you really want it to come towards you. This is about creating some type of balance even when it's a lot going on. This is about you getting connected with the people who are truly meant for you. Your soul tribe. What's the chariot card? Cancer energy. <laughs> I don't know why they're telling me this right here, right now. But I'm guessing this is someone questioning what's going on, like what they're hearing at the moment. Um, maybe someone's questioning their own spirituality because I'm hearing something about a devout Christian, which is kind of different with us doing terror right here. But it's not really different when a person is um, exploring spirituality and what it is that they believe in have, and, and questioning things and stuff like that. So if there's a person that may be here that is a Christian, and you're, you're, you're whatever. This is about using your discernment. You may be questioning. I don't. I don't, I don't really want to say you're questioning your faith, but you're finding power within getting more connected to your own spirituality, patience and flow, purity. Anyways, let's move forward. What's the chariot card? The King of Pentacles. Bam. You. This is how you being in control of your life, even though you may be confused here. Now we have the seven of cups behind the ten of pentacles. There may be some maybe some uncertainty about how to rebuild or regain this power. It's about going with the flow and being patient. As long as you've been your true and authentic self, being flexible and having the courage, know that you have the wisdom to release whatever it is and change. Stand still. Happiness around the corner, truth is around the corner, and abundance is around the corner, including that blessings and embracing the change and having inner peace. So we're just going to read this message, Power, maybe flow as well, and I'll be closing this reading out, okay? So let's read Power. It says, <laughs> this is your time. This is the time to claim your power and step into the into your potential. This doesn't necessarily mean that you will be without fear. You might feel uncertain, but do it anyway. Take a stand. Mm, be courageous. Let the world hear your voice. Take a stand. Stand up for yourself and for others. Right? And your words will have a great meaning. Hold your body as if you are incredibly valiant. Yeah, I hope I said that right. Noble and brave. After all, you are. So let's go to flow. Excuse me. There are times to hold on tight to the shore. And there are times to enter the flow. Notice where life is going and move in that direction. Watch for signs and follow them. Don't resist. When you go with the flow, your life force expands and healing on all levels abounds. This is also the time to release old limiting patterns. Patterns. Forgive and let go of the need to be right about your beliefs. If you aren't feeling the smooth currents in your life of life, it might mean that you're you're being self-critical or judgmental. When you enter the flow with gratitude and love, you will find blessings surrounding you. You will enter into a state of grace and healing will abound. So, look, I'm going to leave that here. Virgo. Hope you all enjoyed the reading. Let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed it, if it resonated, how it resonated. Okay? If you all need more information on your personal situation, go ahead and book a personal reading. If not, catch me in the next one.